Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, let's create a form that automatically writes to an SQL database. We'll rapidly build this infrastructure using Wayscript and we'll be able to do it in just a few minutes. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll sign into Wayscript and click on create a new script. This one I'll call form to Postgres and click create. We're able to create forms on Wayscript very quickly using one of our brand new triggers. This trigger is called the form trigger. We'll click on it and add it into our workflow. This gives us access to create a form exactly how we want it. We'll just add in a few options here. We'll say something like internal form as the title, something like gathering info as the description. We can add elements to our form by clicking on add a form element and we're also given one default element that we can change. We'll just put in a few options for this example. Talking through these, I've just made a name, input, that's a text field. I've created a selector for the product that we've made, A or B, and then the quantity of that product will be a text field as well. These form options are fully customizable and you can make them exactly what you want. To view this form, we would click the form trigger on and then click on view form. This gives us a form that looks like this. If we were to put information into this form, and click submit, we get a form submitted and back on Wayscript, we see that that information is now available to us in our script. This is how we'll write this to a Postgres database. To write this to a database, we'll need to pull in an SQL module. We'll pull that in from the left and drop it here. I already have a few databases connected to my account, but assuming that you don't, we would click on this drop down and click on add an account. This will give us the settings that we need to add a database to our Wayscript account. In this tutorial, I'm using a Heroku database, so I'll go pull the information from there. To get that, I will go to Settings and then Database Credentials. This will be the information that I need to connect that account. Normally, you would want to keep this information confidential, but in the case of this tutorial, I'll just delete this database after we're done using it. Once we have all of these settings, we can click Submit, and then we should have access to our database. Now that we have this, let's create a table that we can put that information into. We'll use SQL here and say create table and we'll just say something like table name for us. We had a name and this will just be a string. So we'll just pass in something like this. Then we had a product and this was a selector so we can do the same thing. And then we also had a quantity. Once we have that, we'll click on run code and we get back no results to fetch. That's because we just created this table. Now let's use those form inputs to input information into our database. We'll say insert into table name will be our table. The values that we want to put in will be the form inputs. So we'll say input one. So we'll click on it and drag it here. The second one will be the product that we're making. So we'll click it and drag it. And finally, our input three will be the third value that we want to pass. Small error here. Let's make these string types so they match the database types that we created. And now let's try this one more time. We get back no error, so we know that we successfully read those into SQL. So now we have a dynamic SQL statement, and every time someone puts in a form entry, we'll automatically write that to an SQL database. We'll click on Done Editing, and let's just go ahead and drag in another SQL module to the end of our workflow. For this one, we'll just say select all from table name. And now we get the information from that database here. So we'll click on done editing and we'll go back to the form. Let's put in a new name. So we'll say a dummy. We'll change the product to B and then let's put in a quantity of five. The form is submitted. So let's go back to Wayscript. We see that it triggered whenever someone submitted that form. We added it with no results to fetch, so that just means we did an insert value statement in our SQL, and then we return all of the information that we can access here using this query in the second step. That's all I wanted to show you for this video, but there's plenty more that we could add on to the end of this. Let's say we wanted an email with that information sent to us. We could pull in the send email and drop it here. Or let's say if a certain condition is met, we could create an if statement, and write the entries that are public to Google Sheets and share that with people in our organization. There's a ton of integrations that we can add on to the end of the script to make it even more useful. And that's all for this one. If you have any questions, as always, please let us know or join our Discord and we'll be happy to help you there. If you have any suggestions for what to build next, 
please let us know that too. Until next time.